and the coriander that I've got in the polytunnel is doing really well. There's no sign of bolting here. Now this is the actual strawberry plant that I potted up on my video on how to grow strawberries. Now it's time to pot up my chilli plants. Um, I initially transplanted them when I pricked them out into tiny little pots and then I moved them on into these pots here again they're not the final pot to be thinking about putting my chilies into what I'm going to be doing today is potting up and placing into a larger pot and that'll be the final pot that I think I'll leave this particular prairie fire chili in and you know the chili's ready for potting up if I just hold the camera underneath you can see that the roots are um, more than visible and that's a sign that the plant's ready to be potted up and another thing to keep in mind when you are potting up is just tease some of the roots loose so that when it goes into its new home the plant is uh, naturally going to be searching out new soil or compost and it will be a lot healthier as a result I've grown these last year and they are super tasty and because they're a, a dwarf variety I'm just going to sow them quite close together. The bottle gourd is settling in really well in its new home. This is the plant that I uh, potted up into a larger pot a couple of weeks ago and keeping in mind that this particular location is where I've kept bottle gourds for the last couple of years so why change something that works so I'm hoping that this plant will do similar and produce a few bottle gourds for me just taking a look inside my polytunnel as to how the plants are getting on. The chilies that I put into the former radish bed are looking lovely and green. What I've got in front of the chilies are some kohlrabi plants. When they get to about tennis ball size I'd say they're perfect for picking. Some of you might be growing courgettes and if you are, and if you haven't actually um, put them into their final positions, what I would say is make sure you put plenty of um, organic fertilizer or compost into the ground first. You want to create a, a bowl, a football size bowl, uh, in which to then place your plant. And one thing I've been doing in recent years is creating a bit of a trench around the plant and the idea is when I water the plant the water will run away from the actual stem and, and the more it does that the better because it reduces the risk of um, stem rot and this reservoir of water will help keep the plant hydrated particularly during these um, dry spells that we're getting at the moment. 